If you are trying to get pregnant naturally, you must have sex. But is there a right amount of sex? Can having too much sex hurt your chances for getting pregnant? Stay tuned for the answer on today's episode of Infertility TV. There are two methods to try to determine whether having more frequent sex will lower your chances for pregnancy. The first method is to determine whether more frequent ejaculation will worsen a semen analysis. There are three parts to a semen analysis. The number of sperm, the movement of sperm, and the appearance of the sperm under a microscope. These are known as concentration, motility, and morphology. This study looked at nearly 10,000 semen samples from over 6,000 men. They divided men into two groups, those with normal sperm numbers and those with low numbers. In men with normal sperm numbers, having sex more frequently, even every day, did not lower their sperm concentration or sperm motility. In men with low sperm numbers, having sex every day had no impact on their sperm numbers but seemed to improve their motility a little bit. Neither group saw any change in their morphology with more frequent sex. The second method to determine whether more frequent sex will lower the chance for pregnancy is to actually study pregnancy rates. This study compared couples who had sex during the fertile window to determine whether having sex more often would improve or worsen their chances for pregnancy. They found that having sex more frequently, even every day, did not lower the chance for pregnancy to occur compared to every other day or even every three days. However, they didn't have any higher pregnancy rates either. Stated another way, more frequent sex will not hurt your chances, but it isn't any better than having sex every other day. I will add one fact, however. I have been a fertility specialist for almost 30 years now. I have interviewed thousands upon thousands of couples who are trying to conceive. For the vast majority of these couples, having sex every day is not their normal pattern. Most couples who are trying to get pregnant report having sex twice or maybe three times a week. For these couples, having sex every day is not their normal pattern. In fact, trying to have sex every day when it does not come naturally is stressful. My expert advice to couples who are trying to conceive is this. If having sex every day is normal for you and your partner, knock yourself out. This will not lower sperm numbers and it will not hurt your chances for becoming pregnant. However, if daily sex is not your normal pattern, don't feel like you have to. The chances for getting pregnant naturally with daily sex are not any better than having sex every two or three days. Trying to get pregnant is stressful enough. You don't need to add more stress. Many couples also like to use home ovulation predictor tests to determine when to have sex. Watch this video to learn about when ovulation tests may not help. Infertility TV is your most trusted source for accurate information on infertility and miscarriage. If you are not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button right now. A new episode is released every week. Don't miss any episodes. You can also check us out on our website, ivf1.com, where you can become a patient.